So before we get into this video, I want to ask you guys one question. Do you believe in miracles? And I asked that question because this year the Winter Olympics are taking place and if you remember that phrase it has to do with a certain hockey team beating another certain hockey team in which people thought it would be a miracle for one team to beat another. Well I ask you that because there is something going on with XRP or the price targets which you pretty much might have to believe in miracles but I'm going to tell you in this video why some people are actually starting to believe in those miracles. Some of which has to do with the amazing growth that Ripple has had this year. And in this video, I'm gonna explain a new partnership that they just announced, a strategic partnership in the UK and Europe that is gonna bring even more exposure and usage of XRP. And not only that, we have the case with Ripple versus the SEC starting to hit more and more mainstream news outlets. I'm gonna tell you who's covering it and what they think about it. And of course, all eyes are still on Bitcoin right now, as no one really knows what it wants to do, but I'm gonna talk about some realistic price points for both XRP and Bitcoin for this week. Hey everyone, my name is Randy, and welcome back to The Late Night Grind. Right now on this channel, I'm covering the Ripple versus the SEC case, but I'm also covering cryptocurrency news, investment markets, and personal finance. So if any or all those topics interest you, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also hit that bell notification icon so that YouTube will send you a notification when I release a new video. And if you're feeling generous, I'd really appreciate it if you do two things. Hit the thumbs up button, watch this video all the way to the end. Those really are the two best things you can do to support a YouTube channel. So if you do that, I'd greatly appreciate it. All right, guys, let's jump into it. So the first thing I'm going to start off talking about is a new partnership that Ripple has just announced. It is with a huge fintech company in the UK. That company's name is Modular. Now, they're actually a fintech company that is focused on uh, cross-border payments, worldwide payments, if that sounds familiar. And their partnership with Ripple was done specifically because they have a couple of things that they want to do, and that is faster and cheaper payments. What else do people use the RippleNet platform, the ODL, the on-demand liquidity system and use it in the usage of XRP for? Well, this partnership is really no different. So Ripple's actually partnered with this company and what they're going to be doing is focusing uh, at least initially specifically on the UK and Europe for providing faster, cheaper cross-border payments like what everybody uses Ripple for. But I thought this was interesting. Modular did announce that the first client uh, in which they have that's actually going to be using this technology is a company called Trust Payments. Now, Trust Payments actually does payments uh, all throughout the world, even though they will just be focusing specifically on the UK and Europe for this initial purpose. And typically, the clients that use RippleNet, they use the on-demand liquidity system. It's bigger banks, it's enterprise systems. However, this partnership said it's going to be for both enterprise and retail, which means there's going to be, which means there's probably going to be a lot of uh, remittance services uh, and different cross-border payments in which individuals are going to be able to uh, use the on-demand liquidity system through this trust payment system in order to send money across borders. And so if you've seen this channel or if you follow Ripple at all, you've been seeing that 2021 and into 2022, Ripple's been having tremendous growth. Uh, its use of XRP transactions is going sky high. The growth of Ripple and RippleNet uh, internationally is just going gangbusters really everywhere except for the United States because of the Ripple versus the SEC case. Now, there's actually been a bunch of new publications that have been starting to write about the Ripple versus the SEC case, and it's been getting a lot more mainstream exposure. So recently, the past couple of months, we've had Charles Gasparino from Fox Business, who's been starting to cover this, who's seen a lot of the information and a lot of the backstory behind it, but now we're starting to see some other publications starting to step up some of, which are, some of which are showing how new they are to this case and other ones that are actually seeing this case for exactly what it is and calling out the SEC. So we have publications like the Wall Street Journal, uh, Forbes, uh, even Apple News are now starting to get into it. And almost every single day, I'm starting to see articles from these types of publications written about the SEC case. Now, some of these articles aren't exactly uh, deep in terms of detail uh, because they're new to the covering the case. Uh, because they are new to covering this case. They haven't seen the whole backstory. Uh, they even question the impropriety of the SEC, and they even question some people for questioning the SEC for having for actually having acted uh, with impropriety, which kind of sounds shocking to me more than anything. Uh, but nonetheless, there's a few other of the articles that basically have seen the backstory and have seen the SEC getting caught in their doublespeak and in their lies and actually calling them out for it. So that's some good news, at least in terms of putting more pressure 
on the SEC. Now, if you've been following my channel for the past six, eight months or so, uh, as well as uh, Digital Asset Investor Channel, Moon Lambo Channel, uh, a bunch of other YouTube channels that specifically cover XRP and Ripple, you probably know a good part of the bigger, you probably know a good part of the backstory about this case, but some of these mainstream media outlets do not. They are brand new to all of this. So sometimes you might have to cut them some slack and if you see them on Twitter, maybe help them out and give them a little bit of the uh, backstory information. All right, so let's talk about some crazy price targets that I have seen for XRP recently start to pop up on Twitter. And the reason I ask at the beginning of this video if you believe in miracles is because uh, next month the Winter Olympics are starting and the Winter Olympics back in 1980 had something that some would call basically a miracle in which the United States amateur hockey team beat the Russian pros for the gold medal and the announcer at the time said, do you believe in miracles? Because that's basically what happened. So right now, if you look at what XRP is doing and you look at its price targets and you look at what some of these technical analysis are saying, uh, even some of the on-chain analysis is saying is that XRP should be going up in price, but it's not, at least not yet. And that's because until this case is over, it's gonna to continue to be coupled with Bitcoin and the rest of the crypto market. It's simply not gonna be detached until there is definitive clarity for XRP. Once there is, look out. But I've seen some technical analysis come out with some charts in which people take fractals of what happened in 2017 and apply it to what's happening today and, and say, look at all these, and say, look at the support, we're up against support, the RSI is at a certain level. And if we put our price targets on it, if it does what it did in the past, we're gonna be looking at a $225 to $500 per XRP price in the next couple of months. And you have to ask yourself one question, do you believe in miracles? Because that's pretty much what it's going to have to take for XRP to hit those price points. I think a much more realistic number would be seven to $10. Now, once this case gets clarity, XRP gets clarity and Ripple gets its win against the SEC, could go a lot higher than that possibly 20 to $30. But again, all depends on what the Bitcoin market is doing at the time. So some realistic price targets for XRP. How about let's stick with this week. I recently saw that Alex Cobb, who is a big XRP uh, YouTuber, uh, recently hasn't been streaming as much. So XRP has naturally been climbing a few cents. Uh, he says that XRP is gonna be 75 cents by the end of this week. That's actually a big jump and would probably require Bitcoin to also have a big jump because they're not decoupled yet. However, if Bitcoin does shoot above 42,000, at least at some point this week and continue to climb, absolutely, I could see 72 to 75 cents per XRP this week, even and even for the next month or so until the discovery ends in the case and we actually move into trial, some of these deadlines end. Many people have already placed their bets in terms of what XRP is or isn't gonna do. They're, they've already packed their bags with XRP and now they just sit back and watch. So let me know in the comments section what camp you actually fall into. Are you looking at XRP at the 75 cents at the $1 level? And possibly if Bitcoin goes on its massive bull run this year, are you gonna see a 10, maybe 20, $30 XRP? Or are you in the camp that you actually believe in miracles and you think that the set and you think that the 2017 price fractals are actually going to take place and we're going to see a three four five hundred dollar xrp and i'm not totally counting that out because i've seen some crazier things happen in crypto but as it stands right now i just don't see that happening all right guys thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end for giving it a big thumbs up and as always i'll see you guys on the next video